handing out toys in the red raw suit. <laughs> <laughs> in the same suit where I talk so crazy. It's like, it's like, you know, that suit actually doesn't exist anymore. Where'd it go? At the end of the night, that suit was wow. was destroyed. Destroyed. Yeah, Keenan Ivy so Wayne's amazing. disgust destroyed that suit. We're gonna blame oh. Keenan for that. Otherwise, I would don the suit and give out <laughs> gifts. <laughs> <laughs> it's magic. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. High stakes as neighbors compete for best decorated house on the block. I think this is the house to beat. It's magic. Wow. What's your Christmas wish? I just want to win this thing. I'll take it. Hi, Gary. Hi. I guess I can say happy holidays to you all. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Have there a you go. Sorry. Uh, no, I love it. I, I appreciate getting in the spirit. You know, I guess I should start off asking, you know, obviously as an actor and a filmmaker, you know, you want your projects to live forever. But I think holidays films are really special because, you know, for generations to come, families and loved ones can watch these films. So I'm just wondering, was that in y'all's mind while you were making the film? That was in the front of my mind when, when we, you know, chose this script. It was like, let's do, we want to do something that, that's going to be around forever. You know, because so many Christmas movies come out every year. Christmas, the Christmas movies have like a built-in audience, your family's all together, and they want to look, look at something that, that they can all watch together. So you got this audience that's built in built in and if it, if you do a good job, you watch them forever. I know the movies, when I was growing up, we used to watch uh, uh, It's a Wonderful Life and it, it, How the Grinch Stole Christmas and Rudolph's, yeah. Rudolph's mm -hmm. Shiny New Year. We used to watch that stuff every every year. Wow, well, you know. That was the hope, that was, that, that not was, that is. That is the hope that we yeah, made. Yeah, that's, that's the type of movie that we made. We yeah. made a movie that's timeless. A timeless, timeless like classic. The, like The Grinch and like Elf. And like it's a wonderful life, is and a thirty the miracle on thirty fourth street, all that stuff. We made one a movie like I think we did made a movie like that that people will watch over and over again. Y'all's chemistry is is undeniable, and for two people who you know haven't worked together in this capacity before, you never know you hadn't. And so I guess we had was, never met. Well, well, then Tracy, is it is it as simple as two funny people just clicking and, and making magic on screen? Yes. Yeah, I think I think yeah, it it's is. it's simple as that. She's a, a, a comedian and a, a great actress, and all that came together. And she improvises, and you know, we try to get the most out of the scenes that we're in. And uh, yeah, it just clicked. And you and you never know, and you don't even expect to have to click with a, an actor. You just want to go and get the job. Yeah, done. sometimes and, you don't. Yeah. Sometimes it. Yeah. Most most of the time, it just you you have a working relationship and that. And there is no clicking. <laughs> there was a great deal of clicking on this one. <laughs> when I came on set, I said, I can't click. <laughs> and I clicked right back. <laughs> did, did you feel the click immediately, Tracy? Did you feel the click? No, we did. We actually, the first day we started, because, you know, it's an interesting thing. You're playing husband and wife and you've never met somebody. So, um, but I think, you know, Eddie's a kind person. He's a professional. He's respectful. And he's really funny. Um, and, and have very fresh breath. He, listen, I've never in my life met a person who is so conscious of his breath to the very point fresh. that I actually thought on the first day, I was like, is he like sending messages to me? Like you need to no, take no, a banaka? No, 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 no. Like I was not, cause he, he really, I learned like he would be like, I, but keep it fresh. He keeps it fresh, which makes the conversation fresh. It just you know makes I mean? for a better, better movie. <laughs> I tell you, I just did a movie right before and one of the actors did not there, have fresh did breath. Did not have fresh breath, and uh, it's a good thing it was an action movie with the car crashes and all that stuff. It made sense. It was like because yeah, yeah, I guess his breath should be smelling like that. Since you know, we, that is awful. Since the though. plane just crashed, you know, the plane crash scene, no helicopter crash. That is hilarious. I, you gave a lot of cues there on <laughs> what did. clues on what <laughs> movie that could have been. Crash. I was thinking the same thing. I'm like, I'm, I'm like, <laughs> in my face going, the helicopter okay. crash, and I was like, hey, it did, did. It. <laughs> That's funny. You know, obviously this is a Christmas film, so I'm wondering for both of you, what's your favorite Christmas memory, particularly or holiday memory, particularly as a child? You know, it's fun for me because we do Christmas with my mom at our family home where I grew up. 
And now the, the Christmas that was so enjoyable for me, we recreate for my nieces and nephews. So I used to be um, coming through the doors, going down to the room where all the gifts were. And now I'm on the other side of the door with the phone to capture them. And I'm part of setting it up. And it is pretty magical to turn the tables and now be the one capturing the kids come into the room. It's really amazing. So mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah. I think we did once we had a, uh, I had a, 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 a ranch and we had a, somebody dress up like Santa Claus and, uh, <laughs> and they were like, you know, a, a hundred acres away on climbing on the fence and we'd hit the ceiling and-, and To make it sound make like it sound. he's coming. Like, oh, Santa Claus is in there. You got and then we went and looked and you could see the uncle was running out that's, and the kids were like, yo, yo Santa Claus is real. <laughs> And one of my daughters was not with it, Shane. She was like, hey, that's some strange shit. <laughs> <laughs> we, did, we, we do a lot of that to keep the, keep the myth alive. I think yeah, that whole, really... the whole, the whole, when you're a kid, it, it, it's Santa Claus is like magic. magic. Magic is real. Yeah. Magic is still real. And the, the, just to see kids go that whole thing, and my kids put the cookies down, yes, and take a bite so out good. of the cookie and leave it. The evidence, my kids come and see all of that, and they'd be like, and to see them go through that, it's just a great, great time. It's Innocent. magic. Yeah, it's I think that's one of the things about this movie is that there, there is the element of magic in the movie. That imagination that children have and all the fantasy of it, I think we engage that in this movie. So I, I'm, I'm excited to watch kids watch the movie. You know, speaking of Santa, this, this idea just came to my mind. You know, Eddie, because Santa is dressed in all red, you know, what would it take for you to put on, I think, the, was it raw? The raw outfit, the all red leather outfit, put on a Santa hat and, and give out toys, even if it's the family. Could, could we see you dressed like Santa in that outfit? That, that red raw suit and give it, <laughs> handing out toys in the red raw suit? <laughs> <laughs> in the same suit where I talk so crazy? <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> it's like, you know, that suit actually doesn't exist anymore. Where'd it go? Keenan destroyed that suit years Why? ago. Why? We had a, years ago, we, I, we me and Keenan used to bet each other, I bet you won't do this, I bet you won't do that. And he was up and he put that suit on, was busting out of it. And I said, I bet you won't wear that to the club. And he, and he wore, we went out to every club in New York and Keenan, had, you ever see on In Living Color, Keenan does a character called Frenchie? He had to have the wig on, he had the red tie. Well, that's, that's, that started that night. He went out and he was Frenchy and stayed in character. In your suit. And stayed in character from 10 o'clock at night to 6 in the He was meeting girls and everything. It was funny. And at the end of the night, that suit was wow. was destroyed. Destroyed. Yeah, Keenan Ivory Wayne just got destroyed that suit. We're going to blame uh, Keenan for that. Otherwise, I would don the suit and give out <laughs> gifts. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Eddie, I actually had the pleasure of talking to you for uh, coming to America during the pandemic. And you were telling me about stand up and the stand up plans and how the like many things, the pandemic just mixed up so many of our plans of the whole world. But I'm just wondering, are, are you planning on maybe doing that again? Stand up and going out on the road and, and in clubs? Uh, you know, we were getting ready to do to do it. And then all the pandemic stuff started. Right. And and I haven't thought about it since then because we went through the pandemic and I started making movies again. And it's like, it's not, it's not something that I would rule out and say I would never do. Well, I'll tell you what we did discuss on set. Now, Eddie doesn't, do. didn't agree to this, but we decided he was going to be my stand-up coach. And oh yeah, said, she's yeah. gonna do stand-up. And he's gonna be my coach. And he said, he said, but you don't need a coach. And he said, that's not what it's about. I said, that's not what I asked you. What I said is, Will you be my stand-up coach? You so, should do. You can do. You can this do is it. so. It's I'm a run. Good. I'm a run my set. I'm a run my jokes, by Eddie, and then I'm, I'm going to go on stage. So this is a real thing, Tracy. You will. You no, will do some it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was. I was ready for. It. I was ready for. It. But you could do stand-up if you wanted to. Uh, one day I might try it. When I was talking to Reggie, when he was talking about just being able to reunite, reunite with you, Eddie, after Boomerang. And so I'm just wondering, we were talking about what that movie means, kind of like to the culture. And are you proud of just how that movie has stood up to the test of time? Because it's still so many people's favorite Eddie Murphy movie. And now you're reunited with Reginald on this film. Can you choose a favorite Eddie Murphy movie? I don't think you can. Uh, but I love that 
that Boomerang has the legs that it has. Mm. Yeah, I love that it still works. And I love that all the people that were in it, you know, that went off and did amazing things. And yeah, I'm proud of that film. I love that it, it, it stood up over the years. Wow. Well, another great film is this one. You guys did a great job. And the plan for, you know, generations to come to watch this film, I think uh, you guys don't have to worry about that. I'm, I'm pretty sure when I have grandkids, they'll be watching it too. So congratulations. Oh, thanks, Thank you bro. so much. That's yeah, lovely. Man. Thank you. Have a good holiday. You too. Take care. That's a great smile.